first of all, this does not constitute medical advice. See a doctor, healthcare professional, whatever. This is just my experience and what's worked for me. <clears throat> so in the past, I had a lot of tendonitis in my wrist, um, a lot of carpal tunnel, um, and it does creep up every once in a while. And how I keep all of that at bay is I focus on a really a gua sha or what's called scraping uh, in combination with uh, ice dipping or cold water therapy uh, for pretty much my elbows and below and I'll work up here sometimes just a little hard for me to get into this area by myself by scraping so uh, I'm gonna go over that and uh, kind of some of the conditions I would say that it, it would help is even a tight shoulders a tight neck and things like that because what happens as all this starts to uh, get uh, scarred up and the tendons and the muscles keep healing themselves over and over again It gets pretty inefficient of how the scar tissue is laid out. So your job is to go in and break that up um, With a with a scraping tool and I'll go over those tools before I start and as I'm doing it and talking through it and uh, Anyways, so that actually shortens your whole arm is what it does So think about it like that and that's kind of how your shoulders feel all day So as these arms get more relaxed and things lengthen everything else kind of comes up to your system, goes into your nervous system, says, all right, everything's fine. It's all, it's all lengthened out, whatever. So yeah, I'm going to go over that and I'm going to go into more detail as I'm doing it and uh, kind of talking through the tools and stuff like that and what I like to use. So anyways, here we go. You're going to need a bucket. This is a two gallon bucket. I recommend a five gallon bucket, fill it with water and ice. I'm going to be using my sink today. A gua sha tool. You can get this from Amazon. It's 10 bucks called Gua Sha, G-U-A-S-H-A, or a scraping tool. I have some peppermint essential oil, don't care the brand that you get. Um, just make sure it's a therapeutic grade and all that good stuff. Uh, have some fractionated coconut oil, don't have to get a certain brand. And I have these two things mixed together. This is for anti-inflammatory properties and things of that nature, look it up. Uh, this is for a lubricant and a carrier oil. All right, so I'm gonna ice dip in my sink. I know it's a mess in here. Gotta do some cleaning. But generally, uh, you know, I'll take something like this. You can get uh, bottles of water, leave them in your freezer for ice. And uh, sometimes I use my ice maker and dump it in here. It was dumped in here, this water's pretty cold. Um, doesn't need to be a certain temperature. It just needs to be a little uncomfortable as you're doing it. I'll do this until I can't tolerate it. I used to count like 30 seconds or something like that, but you'll find your tolerance is different, so I don't give time frames. So, all right, I'm ice dipped, done. Now to the healing aspect of it. It's all really healing so that the cold water <clears throat> actually uh, get some of this oil on here, get it all gooed up. Get some lubricant, the peppermint oil is in it as well. So, I'm gonna go along these uh, muscles, these tendons and connection points and things like that and start to kind of feel for any kind of knot E area or where it's not smooth fiber, uh, muscle fiber, tissue, things like that. And you know, once I find that, boom, all right, yeah, there's one. So I'll sit here, I'll work on that for a while. I'll work on, you know, then I'll go to a new spot and I'll find the areas that are kind of calling me, which is calling me is like this kind of my tricep. If I can reach it, I'll do it. But usually I'll just kind of follow like, what does that, what does that do? And I'll like kind of straighten my arm and I'll fill out, okay, that's along here, right? So maybe if I work here, it'll help release that tricep from so much shortening. So then as I do this, I'll work my way down into the hand and then, oh, there's magic here. And get more of this goo, put it there. And just dig into here, you'll feel some sore spots and really try to relax your hand as much as possible. It's very difficult but you'll get there as you do this. I usually do this about three to five times. All right, and I'd switch my hand. Sometimes I'd go reapply an ice dip um, to restart the, the benefits of the cold water, which is ultimately, if you think about what you're doing here, you're taking this tool and you're scraping this tissue and things like that and trying to smooth it out and, and give attention to this area. Uh, for your body and your nervous system to send nutrients for healing and, and start that process. So ideally you're going to, uh, excuse me, you're going to take uh, that cold water and once that cold water kind of floods this area, you're giving attention to this area. Uh, so how it works is you're dipping this area in cold water 
which automatically sends a stress response in your body to produce homeostasis in the form of, hey, we need to get that limb warm. Everything else is warm. We don't need to protect anything else. So boom, you get all this redness and that's what the the sha is or the healing the part of the gua sha tools. And uh, so that redness is, is essentially the healing process and it's sending through, um, people call it chi, things like that. But in essence, it's your blood with the nutrients that you've consumed from your diet, which is why it's important to have a non and uh, an anti-inflammatory diet or a healthy diet to help produce healing nutrients for these cells so i do this if i'm playing a lot of gigs or doing practicing a lot more than i usually do i'll do this three times a week for 10 15 minutes and uh or just until i feel like oh that's good but when you're done it's very relieving your hands will be loose um you'll notice your relaxation in your guitar uh, your singing your voice gets deeper uh, things like that. So yeah, that's it for that. Thanks for watching.